Beautiful night to be out at sea. <sighs> yep, peaceful. Tsunami? Maybe a maelstrom. Wait, what is that? Kaiju. Wow, amazing! Kaiju footage. Kaiju! Gesundheit. No, Kaiju Fontaine. The Japanese word for monster! <sighs> huh. There's something in the water, but it could be anything. Sure, if by could be anything, you mean is definitely a kaiju. I don't. You don't have to believe. I believe enough for both of us. And I will not rest until I find it and prove that it's real. Are you with me? Nope. Then let's go make history! Ugh. My family are explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into myth. My family are the Nectans, and we explore the deep. Kaiju can be real. When we find it, I'll be nice enough not to say I told you so. See how it swings its tail, Jeffrey? We'll have to watch out for that. <sighs> the footage was taken here, and the Kai... whatever that thing is, was headed in that direction. We can intercept it within a few hours. And find out what's really disrupting shipping out there. Did I miss anything, Ed? Now watch. It's gonna stumble, then recover. Stronger than ever. <laughs> Classic. Hmm. Oh, don't tell me you believe in these things, too. Not really, but that doesn't mean I can't enjoy the movie. And who better to enjoy it with than the world's foremost kaijuologist? Kaijuologist? You don't have much competition given that you just made that word up. Yeah, it's an understudied field. Oh, Ant. How could those creatures even survive in the ocean? No gills, no fins? You'll see. See that? Something crushed one of those boulders. Of course. Kaiju are extremely strong. And also not real. I'm sure there's a good explanation for this. Whatever it was, it had to be big. Whoa. Big enough to make that? I do not have a good explanation for that. Let's take a closer look. Okay, but stay close. We see it. But I'm not sure I believe it. Based on how far apart the prints are, this thing is pretty tall. Mm, I don't think it's one of the insect like kaiju. Could be some kind of alligator mutated by radiation. <sighs> that kind of mutation doesn't happen outside of comic books. <laughs> and Ant's imagination. Something's headed straight for us. Kids, get back to the Aranax. Ant, let's go. I'm seeing if it left the scale or something. Did you hear that? Uh-huh. Ant! Watch out! Ugh. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Ant! Uh, I'm okay. They're panicked! They're not stopping! Dive! Dive! Ugh. Close. <laughs> Those whales were in a hurry. Something must have spooked them. I'm not sure I want to find out what. 
Every creature fears the kaiju. How could they not? Easily. Because everything I've ever been taught tells me they can't exist. There's the strength, the claws, the atomic fire breath. <sighs> Do I want to know? An enormous blast of atomic energy that they shoot from their mouth! <laughs> and that makes even less sense than everything else I've heard. You underestimate kaiju at your peril. <sighs> I think I'll be fine. With that attitude, just hope you never meet one. We're coming up on something. What is that? Wow. We found it. These adventures will go a lot smoother if you guys just believe me from the start. but I still don't believe it. It has no gills. How does it breathe? Hang on! Activating shields! Whoa! All systems are fine. I can't see it! Open the shields! Open the shields! Can we take that risk? You underestimated Kaiju at your peril. Wherever that thing is headed, it's going to cause a lot of damage. If it keeps going on this heading, it'll end up at the island of Hachijo Kojima. That's where our friend Kenji lives. And he's all alone, save for the underwater cave of giant hermit crabs. If that thing can walk on land, He'll be helpless. We have to stop it before it gets there. I'll fix the rudder. Okay, let's go. Ah, <sighs> this'll take some time. The creature's path will take it near the cave full of giant mutated hermit crabs. The one right by Kenji's island. More giant creatures, great. As tough as those crabs are, that thing could threaten them and their whole ecosystem. Maybe we could distract it? Keep it away from the crab's cave? We have to try. And you better warn Kenji while we figure out how to divert it. I'm on it! Be careful around that tail! <gasps> Amazing! Less wonder. Ah! Oh, more evasive action! All right, scientifically impossible kaiju monster. Keep your eyes on the rover. Come on, follow us. Forget about the island. Ah! It just keeps walking, like it's drawn to something. Kenji! Kenji! Kenji? It's Ant! Ant Nectin! Are you home? I like your new blinds. Huh? How would Kenji have a photo of the kaiju? Ant? We're not having much luck turning this thing away. Did you find Kenji? No. Maybe he already left. We could use your expertise out here, Ant. And if you're out here distracting it, it's less likely to attack us. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm on my way. <laughs> I know you're out there! I saw you on TV! Excellent. What are you doing five miles from shore, Kenji? <coughs> I am waiting for the monster. It is coming. Coming to Kenji. Uh, why would it come here? It is destiny. I 
created it. What? Huh? Okay, that should hold together. So, you combine the DNA of a crocodile with... what? A T-Rex? What? To create the kaiju! How did you make it so giant? How did they... It's not a real monster! It's a machine! What? A machine? <laughs> How did you make it and why? I was a prop builder. I built a monster for a film. A monster that I put my heart and soul into. What film? Return of the Atomic Monsters. <gasps> Return? Attack of the Atomic Monsters is my fourth favorite kaiju movie. <gasps> How did I not know there was a sequel? The film was never made. Nobody liked the ending. Why? How did it end? Uh, with the monster attacking a cave full of... fish bats. Fish bats? Fish bats. I don't get it. Nobody did. So my monster was shut down and put into storage. So who reactivated it? I have no clue. Wait, so it's come here for a reason? I, it is pre-programmed to attack an underwater cave. The crab's cave. Well, at least the crabs will be safe if they stay inside it. That would be true, except that the cave is also a prop. A prop? Yes, just the cement and wire. One stomp from my kaiju and the cave will collapse. You know that machine better than anyone. If we get close, do you think you can stop it? I can try. Let's hurry. We have to protect the crabs in their home. If that monster... Machine? That machine threatens their home. The crabs will fight it. They are kind of tough. Well, against that machine, they'll be crushed. We can't let that happen. Ooh, it's bigger and better than I remember. Atomic fire breath! Watch out! Oh no! Kenji! Ah! Huh? Why would I build my machine to shoot actual fire? Atomic or otherwise? So... It's just a beam of light? I guess this thing isn't as scary as I thought. I suspect we may need the help. Help is here. Mom! I know how we can stop this thing. I'm lowering a cable. Got it! Now what? We simply tie it up and stop it in its tracks. I do not think this would work. <laughs> you might not, but I am very confident. That's kind of my thing. Okay, get all of the crabs out of there, now! Last time we went in there, one of the crabs turned the rover into its very own suit of armor. The new rover is a lot stronger. It'll be fine. I think. Looks good. Kaiju's all tied up, Mom! Now, you're not going anywhere. What? No way! Mom, are you okay? My ego's a little bruised. Are you okay? Yeah, but Kenji's monster's still moving! It's following its programming! After all these years, it still works perfectly! A little too perfectly. Go on! Get out of here, crabs! The high beams seem to be working. Here. A tripwire. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. And this thing is huge. How do they fall? That's it. Keep moving, crabs. Hurry, Ant. This is our last chance to stop it. Oh, my heart 
then soul went into that kaiju. No! No! Stop! Kenji, what are you doing? I can't see! We're almost in the clear! Fontaine! Will! Oh no! Aunt! Henry! No! Huh? Oh, what do you know? We weren't crushed! <laughs> I'm coming! We could have stopped it, Kenji! What were you doing? I... <clears throat> I cannot let you hurt my kaiju. What?! <sighs> come on, come on! Ah! Not good, not good! When I knew my kaiju would never be seen, I quit the movies. Now, to see it in action, finally fulfilling its potential, I cannot bear to see it hurt! Hurt? It's a machine! Whoa! Oh. Grab your mask! It's gonna break! Uh-oh. I know that sound. Huh? The crabs are going towards it? Kenji! Look at what's happening! Crabs and people are more important than machines! It goes living things, then machines, in that order! I could use the teleporter. Teleporter? <laughs> I'm kidding. Huh? You need a little help? Mom. Kiko. We need to go. <sighs> Hang on. I'll get you out of here. Mom, look out! Huh? It's the giant cyborg crab. <laughs> <laughs> Kiko, are you okay? I'm not sure. It knocked out my controls. I'm rebooting now. We were just in its way. It's got bigger kaiju to fry. Oh! We wouldn't need to damage your creation if we knew what controlled it. Well, originally, I used the remote control. Do you still have it? I reused parts of it to make one for my new bamboo curtains. Oh, oh no! What? It was me! I reactivated the monster! Mom, Kenji has a remote! We might be able to turn off the kaiju! Oh, fantastic. Oh, man! The giant crab that took our rover for its home is gonna take on the kaiju! Oh, that was a bit of much better ending for our movie! And the remote? Ugh. I can't believe we have to miss this! Come on! I did not expect to see this today. Oh, it has to be here somewhere. Where did you see it last? Whoa! Go giant cyborg crab! Dad? We do have a plan, right? Keiko, can you help us? Almost there. Where do I always find the remote after I lose it? Wait, where all remote controls end up? I got you! Did it work? Has it stopped? It hasn't stopped, Ant. Try that one. No. No one. And, and that. No. That 
It's okay, Ant. We're completely not squished. Oh, uh, right. I knew that. <laughs> the crabs are heading home. They know they're out of danger. Hmm? What is a fish bat, anyway? A fish with bat wings? A bat with gills? You know, I still do not know. <laughs> we should count ourselves lucky that you never got around to building one. And that your recklessness didn't get anyone hurt. Uh, I am ashamed to have caused so much trouble. Speaking as someone who causes a lot of trouble, the key is to learn from it. Will you be okay, Kenji? Thank you. I will be fine. I have been reunited with an old friend. You know, I might write a movie about this one day. Remember, Ooh, Tuesday is a Tuesday. <laughs> it's the day the map to the Maldito Esmeralda treasure was finally mine. Where are we now? Um, somewhere in the blue bit. <sighs> Scurvy ridden buffoon. How ah, could you not know where we are? The navigation system hasn't huh? worked. Finn, what are you doing? <laughs> Get back here, boy! Search the ship! He's gotta be here somewhere! Ah, uh, great. Report to the bridge. Priority one. What is it, Mom? We're getting a call from a remote location. From who? From you. What? Setting new coordinates. Stay sharp, everyone. Huh? I see Pirate Boy still has a communicator he stole from you. What's going on, Finn? This map leads to a treasure. My dad is planning to take it. I... I want you to stop him. Huh? My family are explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into myth. My family are the Nectins, and we explore... I told you I'm here because I need help. To stop a pirate stealing treasure? What is this, opposite day? There's this uh, other pirate who's uh, threatened to eliminate anyone who touches this treasure. And I... I don't want my dad getting hurt. Pfft. Even the stories Jeffrey tells are less fishy. Right, Jeffrey? We don't want historical artifacts falling into any pirate's hands. Perhaps we should take the treasure to a museum. What? But, no, you, you can't touch it. Finn, we can hardly move the treasure if we don't touch it. Uh, okay, but uh, couldn't you just, you know, destroy it? What? Just throwing ideas around. Huh. What does that flower mean? 
I don't know, but I'm guessing it's significant. Don't worry, Finn. We'll have this in a museum soon enough. I don't trust museums. Museum curators are just pirates with bow ties and tweed jackets. I could get used to this ship. It's got computers, toilet seats, and stable oxygen levels. Finn, is there anything you're not telling us? My favorite color is green. Ugh. In there. I know you're there, Aunt. <laughs> you shouldn't trust him. I don't. Not entirely. Uh, what's this? A note. It says you were wrong. For when Pirate Boy inevitably betrays us. <gasps> Thief! I knew it! Look! I gave it to him. What? He's a pirate! His wetsuit has holes in it. If he went out into the cold ocean, he'd be a frozen fish dinner. Hmm. We'll be at the location soon. Be ready. <sighs> watch him, Jeffrey. Watch him like a hawk. Or in your case, watch him like a shark or some other marine animal. This is it. You know, we could seal the whole thing in concrete. You've got concrete, right? What is it with you and the weird suggestions? Another ship is coming. Dad. I knew it! You set us up! Did you? I didn't! I swear! Hammerhead, we are claiming salvage rights to this treasure. <laughs> you and who's army! Dad, leave it! The Neckins got here first! Finn! You're... With them?! He's even wearing their wetsuit! Finn's trying to help you. Uh, just for me. How did you even get here Finn stole the map? I memorized the location. Oh, Captain, you're forgetting. It was me that memorized the <laughs> Finn! He betrayed your proud pirate heritage and your family! From this day on, you're no son of mine! Or mine! Not that you're my son. I mean... We're not related now. Everyone suit up. Why is Finn coming along? What if stealing the rover is part of his elaborate plan to betray us? I want to stop my dad just as much as you do. And besides, without me, you'll be outnumbered. All right, you scurvy ridden scallywags. Grab the deep sea vacuums. Clean the storm digging. <laughs> I can... Hey, Captain, uh, I really shouldn't be swimming. You're a pirate. Live dangerously! <laughs> that treasure doesn't belong to you or your pirates, Hammerhead. Back off, do-gooders! I'm claiming this treasure! Can I borrow that for a moment? <laughs> We just stole that vacuum! We know these can suck things in, but can they blow things out? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Look! You seen it, Barracuda! That's mine! Back off, Hammerhead. Unless you think you and your pirates can stand up to our knights. <laughs> Back to the ship, lads! Hatch me new weapon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get the treasure back to the ship. Finn! What are you doing? Can't talk now, gotta go. I knew it! That's not yours to take! Let go of the treasure, Finn. You don't understand. I can't. Is that so? <laughs> See? I knew you could do it. Yeah, I'm just trying to help. Kit, keep Finn busy while I secure the treasure. You're not getting the treasure, Finn. You don't understand. Your dad's in danger. The treasure, it's... If it's cursed! <gasps> Dad! Oh, no! 
Anyone else feeling a bit peckish? I'm starving. Huh? Okay, Mom. Almost there. Did we, did we just pass the kitchen? Uh, yeah, Dad. No time for food. What is this curse? In 1570, the Esmeralda was attacked by pirates. The captain put a curse on the treasure. Oh, please. Fairy tales? It's true. Anyone who's tried to take the treasure has died. At least that's the legend. You didn't think to mention this before now? I told you not to touch it. Fontaine, set up my microscope. I need to see if I can identify this purple residue. You can't fight a curse with a microscope. Curses aren't real. I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't tell you the truth. It sounds ridiculous. I believe all sorts of ridiculous things. <sighs> it's spreading. Spreading? Oh, just like rich, creamy peanut butter? Hang in there, Will. I'll run tests. We'll find a solution. Oh, that looks tasty. Can someone crack and peel it for me? Uh, what is that? A drained egg filled with sink foil and sealed with wax. It wards off curses. Oh, never mind. That's not sterile. <laughs> Treasure! Forget about the treasure, Dad. It's cursed. That's why I stole the map. To protect you. Build water! Pirates always say things are cursed. I cursed a cake once, just so no one else would eat it. Did someone say cake? Kids, you have to cut the Aranax loose while I tend to your father. to help like we never trust you again you've done enough dad has a new weapon it nope we're through listening to you wait for it lads wait for them to come to us get away from our ship hammerhead move boy it's my ship now Ooh, new weapon <laughs> no huh that's an augmented silicon bubble, Necton. Your fancy pants nights are designed to work in water. Now you're as helpless as a baby in a suit of armor. Oh, oh, I'm trapped. But it's kind of fun. And? <laughs> okay, maybe we should have listened to Finn. How can we know they'd have a piece of tech that actually works? Huh? Leave the Nectons alone, Dad. What? Bill, son. You said he was no longer your son! My old former son! Sorry about this, Dad. Hell, you don't give me any allowance. I got you, Captain! Do you want to go for a float in a bubble? You're a traitor! You think this thing can make a bubble big enough to swallow the dark orca? Adeline, retreat! Uh, the thing is... Uh, thank you. Wow, you look like you're in physical pain saying that. I am a bit. You two can kiss and make up later. Are you gonna help me cut us free? Keiko... I just want you to know. Shh, you don't have to say anything. I want you to know that I really, really love... What, sweetie? The way you make pancakes. <sighs> Cables are cut. Let's get out of here. What? You haven't won yet, Nectars? Daddy boy, ram in speed! Aye, aye, Captain. Don't. I can fix that. I'll just need a little bit of glue. Ah! 
How is he doing? Hanging in there. Your father is strong. Dad? Never forget. I never forget what, Dad? The maple syrup. Okay. I've never seen anything like this before. I don't know how to treat him. If you'd told us everything right from the start, this wouldn't have happened. And you've never made a mistake? If I could beat this curse, I would. <sighs> There's got to be a scientific reason for this. I still don't believe in pirate curses. So much for your home remedy, Finn. It didn't even... Where'd he go? <laughs> Stole the Magnite! Let's go! I've locked in on the Magnite's tracking signal. Look, there he is! Isn't cursing my dad enough? Now you've got to steal our knight as well! Listen! Maybe, just maybe Fontaine's right. Think about it. Maybe there really is a scientific explanation. You mean he came here because you... because you want to help? I'll do anything to fix the mess I made. There might be an answer here. Good. Stay hydrated. Hydrated is good. Pancakes are better. So cakey. So flat. Whoa! Look at that! Looks like we're not the first ones here. Hmm. I wonder how old it is. Don't! Uh, Fontaine! What was that? It came from the coral. It reminds me of something. I've got it! The treasure map has pictures of purple flowers around the border. The same purple! I know that flower. It's monk's hood. One of the most poisonous plants in the world. That's it! The coral secretes a toxin. So it will be all over the treasure. That's how Dad got sick! Mom, it's not a curse. It's a coral-produced palytoxin. It's monk's hood. Monk's hood? That's more serious than I thought. And we don't have the antidote on board. If there's poison, how can fish live here? Maybe they've developed an antitoxin. Stop that fish! Hey, come back! <laughs> <laughs> Rose, it's covered in some thick gel. No, that must be it. The gel must have properties that protect the fish. An antitoxin? Yes. There's only one way to find out. Ant, what are you doing? I have to touch the coral. You can't. We need to test the gel first. We've run out of time for tests. We're right about this. I know it. And Dad needs it now. I was desperate to save my dad, Ant. I know how you feel. How do you feel? Hungry. Not a good sign. Just kidding. I'm always hungry. I feel fine. And there's no rash. This could cure Dad. Quick, we gotta go. Mom, we've got an antidote to the palytoxin. How did you get that? A combination of heroism. And sheer luck. We're on our way! It shouldn't take long to isolate the antidote. How's Dad doing? Hanging in there. Just. Huh? <gasps> Is someone baking? Sounds like it's done. Oh, not now! <laughs> Dad's back. Daddy boy! Rim them again! Aye, aye, Captain!
it's gonna be a bit of a ride. What kind of ride? Going down! <laughs> Condition is stabilized. <sighs> hey, look, the purple. It's going. Will, how do you feel? Um, I feel great. A little tired, but great. Any insatiable food cravings? Insatiable food cravings? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's good to have you back, Will. Now that you've tried honesty and doing the right thing, you should do it more often. Whoa, don't get too carried away. I am a pirate. Was. Am. Kinda. Most of the time. And somehow I'd better get back to my own family. You might not get a warm welcome. Uh, Dad will forget about it in a couple of days, when I do something else he wants to disown me for. Actually, I've got an idea. See, Dad? I planned the whole thing. And now, thanks to the curse, the Nectins are all sick. How sick? Probably doomed. <laughs> you saved me, son. You saved all of us. <laughs> Poisoning our enemies. You get to have all the fun. <sighs> so. Do you think the video fooled Hammerhead and Madeline? Well, I, for one, think I was very convincing. Not so sure about you, though. Uh, Fontaine, about Finn. I know I called him untrustworthy, and a liar, and a cheat, and a thief, and fishy, and... Remember this? Huh? You were wrong. You know what? He is untrustworthy. <laughs> and a thief, and a liar, and a cheat. <laughs> 